London, a buzzing modern metropolis constructed upon layers of history dating back over 2,000 years. The city, home to seven million people. Known for its rich financial wealth, multicultural society and iconic architecture, London is steeped in proud and royal tradition. A cosmopolitan melting pot, labelled as the financial and cultural capital of Europe. The Tate Modern cements itself as one of the main cultural hotspots within London. Converted from Bankside Power Station in 1994, the Tate Modern opened its doors in 2000, establishing itself as a mecca for art lovers and enthusiasts. This ambitious project, some say, rebranded the city, creating a buzz transforming dirty, commercial London into one of the most cultural cities on the planet. Over five million people flock to both Tate Modern and Britain each year to sample over 70,000 pieces of original artwork, ranging from international modern, contemporary and British art, some pieces dating back to the 15th century. Originally designed by the Victorian architect Giles Gilbert Scott, the redesign by Swiss architects Herzog and de Muron transformed the Bankside Power Station into the Tate Modern. Preserving its character and charisma was key in the development of the project. Following a £12 million grant from the English Partnerships Regeneration Agency, the monument was purchased and development began. Since the site opened in 2000, it has been visited by over 40 million people. So what is art? And how do people value it in today's society? Is it even important anymore? Do we see art differently depending on who we are? I'm going to start off with the first question. What is art to you? How do you view art? Well, that's quite, you know, that's quite an abstract area and, you know, art could be, you know, anything, it could be nothing. I think it depends on the person. Yeah. Because, you know, for, for certain people, art could be, you know, something very um, elitist, like mm -hmm. something very restricted. Uh, for others, art could, could be architecture, for example, or, yeah. you know, it could be anything you see in a museum or... Uh, could be lots of things. So I think it's and then it does depend on the viewpoint of the of the person. But for me, art is source of inspiration, uh, both you know personally and professionally. I do do find it as as such. For me, it's everything because I'm I'm an artist. I want to be a fashion designer. Depends <laughs> on you mean. I mean, there's music. Could be classes, art, yeah. theater, paintings could be classes, art, theater, acting, um, performing of any sort, yeah, really. Um, you could tend to think of just well, pictures. Something that uh, creates uh, an emotional reaction amongst other things. I've just been looking at uh, paintings mm. and uh, sculptures. So oh, at right. the moment, it's the uh, configuration of objects in space. For me is, right. um, it's more of a sentiment, really. Uh, it's something that you feel. You can't really just look at it and go, oh, art, that's pretty. No, it's something you must feel with all your heart. Well, I think it's a, it's a really important expression yep. um, of um, your moods, your feelings, how you see the world. Um, yep. It's an expression of someone's opinion. Yeah. Uh, it's their perception of something. Or it's an expression of someone's creativity in either visual, um, audio, um, yeah, either that. Yeah, it's an expression of someone's opinion or perceptions and creativity is the platform which which people use. Oh, look. <laughs> I can see. Okay. Okay then, so what do you recognise this piece of art or not? No. No. I don't know. Okay. Okay. What do you think the actual meaning of this piece is? is like? The meaning of the piece yeah. is a relaxing... Uh, sunny British riverside walk. What's the first thing that sticks out to your mind when you see this? Happiness. It seems to be, to be sunny 
um, it seems to be like chill, it seems to be like something really relaxed for, every, for everyone. Behind the, behind, what did I say? Behind the, oh, behind the mask. There you are. How you doing? Well, for me, this looks like the masks that people hide behind. Okay. Um, yeah. Which can be sadness, um, um, mystery, mystery even. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, fear. It's something to entertain. It kept the artist occupied while he, uh, conveyed what he was thinking at that time in his life it's uh, suggests to me North American Native American faces um, with a white man in the middle maybe I'm reading a bit too much into it uh, hmm. my first thought of it is it looks a bit uh, related to something uh, with war or maybe something with uh, violence or something like that. But I have no idea. Uh, okay. This looks like some sort of indigenous culture. Looks like there's cultural ties to it. Indigenous cultural ties to it. I'd probably say Pacific Islands or South America. Do you consider art as an important piece of your life? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, for me, art yeah. is happiness. Yeah. So if you don't have art in your life or in in your real life, you you don't have nothing. And yes. I do. Okay. Yeah, one way to answer it was good. In yeah, it's always good. It? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really an artist, but in my free time, I like, I like to doodle. I think art is very important, but um, but I do think that some of the art, the modern art, yep. is a little bit. It's not. It's difficult to tell. It's not. I don't think it comes across as art. Well, the art is uh, can be or the art of. Uh, Paint, paint to the yep. art of speaking. Oh, yeah, because I'm constantly watching TV yeah. and viewing, listening to music. I think we can we consume art quite a fair bit, even if we don't know it, even uh, through the internet it's these kind days. Of subliminal. Yeah, kind of uh, like memes, for example. Like if, you, <laughs> if, you, if, you call, if you call that art. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's an expression of something, you know, whether that's someone's emotion or, um, you know, someone's trying to get a message across or, you know, anything like that. So I think everyone's going to have a different interpretation, but yeah. I think it is really one avenue for expressing that and therefore really exactly. important. For Do you think art is just for painting? So that's kind of going back a little bit onto the question before. Around. Uh, definitely not. As I said, it could be painting, it could be sketching, but also, I mean, it takes so many forms as you know people could be creative in uh, so many different ways i mean if you look at different crafts out there yeah i mean that's art in a way because you know creating anything out of nothing is is art yeah like I even if i'm going to ikea i can buy art yeah, even if yeah. it's a cheap one so yeah like uh, i can get uh, i can get art or maybe if i'm going to h and m like a shop i, I can get art Absolutely not. Um, well, it's uh, anything that appeals to the five senses. So I'm not so sure about smell. Mm -hmm. Other than, uh, well, there are some smells that are quite good, but uh, yeah. you know, sound, uh, vision, touch. Um, vision is the one that immediately jumps out. Yeah. Art is a part of culture, and mm. if art wasn't here, we don't want to have all these beautiful buildings or. Everything, I mean, yeah, paintings really. <laughs> or sculptures, anything like that. Yeah, exactly. No, art is everything. It's, it's our everyday lives. So you see it. It's the buildings, it's the architecture, it's the sculptures. It's the way the sea moves as well. That's also maybe considered art. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's everything. the sounds, the music, everything. Where do, where do we draw the line? Uh, yeah, it's, that's difficult. It's, difficult. it's difficult. It's so right? difficult yeah. because at the moment it's so extreme. It's um, yeah. um, it, it's. Uh, well, the thing is, you are never going to be able to draw the line you can't, because anything that people craft as art will be art it's for It's opinionated, them. right? It's a exactly, personal yeah. opinion, yeah, your personal interpretation. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Most people we interviewed valued art as an important asset, not only to society, but to their daily lives. Expressing that art is not just painting. For some, it is lifestyle. For others, it's something that they live and breathe. 
Some see it as a platform from which they can express their opinions, transfer messages, and use as a tool to innovate, encourage, and inspire. Art funding has become an epidemic problem. In recent years, financial backing has become increasingly limited, and budget cuts by international governments potentially limit public access to upcoming traditional, contemporary, and classic art forms creating a new generation of intellectually deprived young people, which could therefore cause increased social isolation. This is increasingly important among low-income families. The study of art and music has been scientifically proven to improve children's cognitive abilities, both at home and during school. Children who are exposed to art are three times more likely to get a degree. Insufficient funding may also hinder the prospect of discovering new and upcoming artists. The future of art is uncertain. It is constantly changing, both with time and influence. But as long as humanity has creativity, art will never die.